Hey, what's good, everybody? God bless you guys in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> the name that is above all names, y'all. The name that is above all names. This is a word for somebody tonight. I said, this is a word for somebody tonight. And that word to you is this. Go look again. Go and look again. Just because you didn't see the miracle the first time you looked doesn't mean the miracle isn't on the way. See, some of you all have robbed yourself from God's miracle working power because you gave up because you didn't see something the first time. But I say to you today, go look again. Go look again and watch and see what it is that God just waiting for you just a little in the distance for you is about ready to move so i say i say to you tonight go look again see there's a story in the book of kings where elijah had said to ahab go look there is a sound that i hear by the spirit there is a sound of of an abundance of rain that is coming Go look. And here's what's interesting. So when Ahab went to go look the first time, nothing happened. When Ahab went to go look the second time, nada. When Ahab went to go look the third time, nothing. When Ahab went to look the fourth time, the fifth time, and the sixth time, nada. Nothing. But what happened on the seventh time? What happened on that seventh moment? What happened due to the due to his obedience of what it was that Elijah told him to do? All of a sudden he saw this cloud. Ah, somebody, somebody put in there the glory's coming. <laughs> somebody put in the chat the glory's coming. See, see, you talk yourself out of a miracle because you're so focused upon the carnal. See, you're robbing yourself of God's miracle working power because you're focused upon what you see. But the miracle is on the way. The cloud is coming. Somebody say the cloud is coming. See, Elijah heard an abundance of rain. But Ahab, on the seventh time, saw a cloud forming. Which looked like it formed likened unto a man's hand. <laughs> See, in a man's hand, especially the right one, refers to righteousness. See, the man's hand refers to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. See, the man's hand says, let me put some mud on these bad boys and I'm going to slap them on your eyes. Let me put some mud on these babies and I'm going to put, put them upon your eyeballs and when, I, and when you wash you're going to be able to see. See, the man's hands represent the favor and the righteousness of the Lord. And the man's hand, what did God say to Moses? What's in your hand? And what was forming out there in the distance was a cloud. And it, and it was likened unto a man's hand, the kingdom of heaven is at the kingdom of heaven is at what was forming out there what did Ahab see at the command of Elijah and Elijah told him go and look again and when you go and look again I know what I heard I know what I heard Ahab I know what I know by the spirit Ahab don't try to talk me out of my miracle, Ahab. Ahab, you just do what I told you to do and you watch and see the provision and heaven's blessing and the abundance of rain is about ready to come. Ahab, I know what I heard by the Spirit. I know what I know, what I know, what I know when God begins to move. So I say unto you today, in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, go and look again. Because a lot of times you let you left the miracle behind. You left the blessing behind because you were focused upon these, upon these carnal ojos. See, you were so focused upon the carnal lenses that you missed waiting 
upon the cloud that was forming in the distance that God was about ready to move. See, a lot of times the miracle isn't in the first look. The miracle is not in the second. The miracle is not in the third. It's not in the fourth. Then it's not in the fifth. Then it's not in the sixth. But on that seventh time, guess what Ahab saw? He saw a cloud forming. It wasn't the abundance yet, but he got to see it form. See, we talk about we talk about no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But what about the provision and the blessing of the Lord that does begin to form to begin to come your way so that the abundance of Christ begins to rule and reign in your life? Uh, I say to you tonight, go and look again. And the story can be found in the book of Kings. And Elijah told Ahab. Go and look. I know what I heard. See, you're, you, you're so discouraged and focused upon wanting to see it. I heard it. You may not see it the first time. But I know what I know. When God begins to speak, when he begins to reveal. I know what I know. And if you listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto you today. Go and look again don't rob yourself of God's provision miracle and blessing of what it is he wants to send your way and just because you think you're going to find it in your own way you may miss God but when you trust and rely in and upon the Lord as to how it is the Lord shall and will do oh you're going to walk right into it Especially when you begin to align yourself accordingly with the kingdom connection of brothers and sisters in your life that know how to see, that know how to, that know how to hear because they're leaned into the heart of Jesus and they truly do want to see you prosper. They truly do want to see you blessed. And they're going to tell you, go and look again. Here's another word for somebody. See, don't don't allow the failure to become your identity see some of you that that are going to tune into this video you allowed that you allowed that failure to mark you you allowed that failure to stain you you allowed that failure and that setback and that disappointment and that betrayal you allowed that to define you and to make an identity out of you based upon what happened to you and I need for you to get back into right standing with the Lord as to who you are in the Christ. Who is the Lord and Savior of your life. The one that is transforming you into the very image and likeness of He. So that through your life shall the glory be revealed of Him being manifest through you and for you. Ah, to bring about and to bring about to His name the glory that through your life. You shall see the blessing in God's favor. My God, my God, come nigh unto you. I say to you tonight, my brothers and my sisters, in the name of Jesus, go and look again. Ah, See, because a lot of you, just like Ahab, you got to think about this from, from a natural man's mindset and reality. You have to think about it from Ahab's point of view in this moment when Elijah first told him, I heard, I hear an abundance of rain and it's coming. And he tells him to go look. He don't see nothing. <laughs> he goes tell he goes to tell him, I don't see anything, prophet. Prophet, you missed it. Prophet, prophet. <laughs> Are you prophet lying to me? Because I don't see nothing. I don't see what you hear. Hear me, y'all. I don't see what you hear. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And we don't live by sight. We live by the faith of God in Christ Jesus. From your mindset, from that reality of who he is, working it out for your life today and forevermore in Jesus name 
Do you know the Bible says that life and peace, his pleasures are forevermore? Do you know the Bible also says goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life? See, but the problem that sometimes we have in the church today is we get focused upon what we see that we forget about what we hear. <laughs> and I come to tell you today, in the name that is above all names, go and look again. Because I hear the sound of the abundance of rain and it's coming and it's going to overtake you. Do you know that Elijah outran the chariot? See, watch this. If you do the study as to how far he ran, do you realize and know that Elijah outran the chariot for 20 miles? 20 miles. 2 0. -oh. Not two miles. Not one mile. Not around the block. 20 miles. Somebody say supernatural. Somebody say the spirit of God came upon. See, and the spirit of the Lord is going to move upon you. When this thing begins to happen and come your way, there is going to be a supernatural grace and a peace come upon you. Oh, hear me, brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus. There's sometimes in life when there, when there comes this See, the Bible talks about the gift of faith, right? See, the gift of faith when it comes upon you and it for real invades the area of your life. Do you know there is no doubt in it? I'm telling you all, there's something amazing when the gift of faith comes upon you. It's as if you can take on the world. When the gift of faith comes upon you, it's as if all things truly become and are possible. You step into a reality in a realm in Christ that bypasses your human reasoning, that is trying to rob from you God's best of what it is he's trying to work out and do in your life. In Jesus' name. And that faith you have on the inside of you that is waiting to be tapped See, you have an untapped faith because we get so focused upon looking with these. There is an untapped reality. Let the springs of life flow within your life and let them bust open. Remove all the dams that have been built up and stop. Remove all of the dams that have been trying to stop up the blessings. Whatever it is and however it is that those dams got built in your life today in the name of Jesus, that those dams be removed from your life in the mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach. I say to you once again tonight, go look again. <laughs> go and look again. Because your blessing is on the horizon. See, you think I'm doing a video just to do a video. But if you catch what I'm saying prophetically, you think I just stopped just to do a video to do a video? You think I just wanted to make a video just to make a video? You can think that if you want to. But I know when I hear by the Spirit of the Lord, and I say to you today in, in, in this right here and right now, stretch forth your faith. Now faith is. Go look again. See, there's certain things in certain seasons of your life that you didn't think was ever going to become possible because you haven't seen it yet. See, just because you haven't seen it yet doesn't mean that it's not on the way. Just because you haven't seen it yet does not mean that it's not on the way. <laughs> Just because you haven't seen it yet does not mean that it's not on the way. Go and look again. Ah, because there is a cloud that is forming in the distance. And it's likened unto a man's hand. The hand of God. 
the kingdom of heaven is at when miracles signs and wonders and deliverance take place the kingdom of God is nigh the kingdom of God is at hand go and look again because your blessing is on the way you don't believe me that's okay but for those that do hold on to this word don't let that devil steal this seed do you know the bible says that the devil comes immediately i want for you to hear me the bible says that the devil comes immediately after the word is sown see a lot of times christians are allowing the devil to steal the seed of God that has been sold and released their way not even understanding why it is nothing is producing yet the reason it's not producing and or manifesting the realities of the kingdom of what God's word can do through your life is because the enemy comes immediately to come right come to, to come to rob and to steal the seed Now faith is. You ready for your miracle? You ready for your breakthrough? And it's not going to look the way you think, y'all. Ah, if there's one thing that I can say to people, I don't know how to emphasize to Christians this reality enough. If you think your miracle is going to come your way, you got another thing coming. If you think the miracle is going to come how you want it to happen, you got another thing coming. If you if you could figure out and if it was according to that, you wouldn't need faith. You wouldn't need faith. See, but when your faith and trust is in Jesus Christ, no matter what, how and when the Lord begins to move, your reply and your response to the Lord is just, yes, Lord, here I am. <laughs> See, because God knows you better than you. And sometimes the biggest hindrance in your life is not even the devil. The biggest hindrance in your life is you. The biggest hindrance in your life is you. Based upon how it is you think based upon what it is you feel and how it is you think God's going to move. If you let the Lord do what he needs to do, he's going to rock your world, y'all. If you let the Lord flow from your life, you're going to see miracles begin to spring forth. Ah, he is not a God that is containable or controlled. He will test you, Moses. See, you want, you want to strike the right you, you want to strike you want to strike the rock but God told Moses don't strike the rock Moses why did you do that I didn't tell you this just because it just because that worked for you in one season does not mean it's going to work for you again that's a word for somebody see a lot of times people get stuck into doing things and they strike in the rock and the Lord says I don't want you to strike the rock no more I want for you to speak to it I want for you to come to me I want for you to lay everything at the altar I want for you to put everything in my feet and trust me and believe and know that I am that I am and I shall and will make a way even when there seems to be no way I will do what it is and how it is I feel fit because I know you better than yourself and if you could choose Hear me, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hear me. Can I get a witness? We've already seen what we can do. We've already seen how we choose. We've already seen how we expect. We've already seen the outcome of things that and how it is we think God wants to do. But we've also seen the outcome of that reality. And it never worked out well.
And for many, it set you back. And for many, that season hurt you. And for many, you became disappointed. And for many, it almost took you out. Can I, can I get a witness? Do you hear me? See, you don't got time to go around that mountain no more. But what you do have time for is to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. And when the Lord says, this is now my hand, and the time begins to come, and his hand by faith begins to move you, you step on in. And when you step on in, doesn't mean you're going to have it figured out. Once again, if you think you have it, if you think you need everything figured out, you don't need faith. Faith is not, faith is literally trusting in the Lord, not even knowing how he's going to work it out. <laughs> even when you're, even when it's hard pressed against you and it feels like you're going to fall apart. It feels like you're going to break. It feels like, my God, I can't do this no more. Boom. All of a sudden the miracle happens. Boom, all of a sudden that thing, op the open door happens. Boom, all of a sudden that door opens for you. Boom, all of a sudden that divine connection and relationship. And boom, all of a sudden that miracle that you've been waiting and desiring of the Lord to do, all of a sudden comes nigh unto you. Because you waited and you trusted in the Lord. <sighs> In the name of Jesus, Father, seal this word with your love and your peace. Bless your people tonight. And for those, Lord, Father, remove their human reasoning reality, robbing them from your best. Father, remove their own ability to try to understand and figure everything out so that they can truly abide and live in your rest. Father, remove, Father, this, this head knowledge understanding of trying to always figure you out rather than relying and trusting in and upon everything that you're doing and leading them to <sighs> bless your people tonight lord heal your people tonight i speak life i speak blessing i speak peace over my brothers and my sisters in the name of jesus for those that are sick in body i speak healing right now in jesus name sickness I curse you at the roots I command you to go in Jesus name body be healed mind be restored <laughs> and peace and rest and strength come unto your life father I thank you for the healing power of Jesus Christ coming nigh unto your sons and daughters bless them bless them bless them with the power of of your love in Jesus mighty name we pray thank you Lord amen it amen y'all be blessed in Jesus name go look again where it at <laughs> where where it at <laughs> where, where where that blessing hallelujah where it at where that blessing <laughs> hallelujah that blessing is on the way I love you all. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Where, where that blessing? Where's that cloud that you talking about, brother? Brother, what you be what you talking about, brother? Where that where's that cloud at, brother? I want to see that rain. I want to see that rain, brother. Get ready because it's on the way. Y'all be blessed.